today's episode, we're going to be discussing the abolitionist movement. What is an abolitionist? An abolitionist is a person who participates in activities to end the institution of slavery. This is a lithograph from the 1700s. Am I not a man and a brother? This is an advertisement for the abolition of slavery. Hmm. Who are some famous American abolitionists? In this episode, we're going to be discussing Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Frederick Douglass, Harriet Beecher Stowe, William Lloyd Garrison, Susan B. Anthony, and John Brown. Why do I have a giant question mark over Abraham Lincoln's face? Though he did try to outlaw slavery with the Emancipation Proclamation, he did have some suspect beliefs about African Americans. So for this particular episode, I'm going to leave them off. What did abolitionists believe? Abolitionist beliefs. Slavery is morally wrong. Slavery is cruel. Slavery is inhumane. Slavery is a violation of the principles of democracy. And slavery should be immediately eliminated. Who is Susan B. Anthony? Susan B. Anthony was a Quaker, and a Quaker is a religious group that wanted to get rid of the institution of slavery. She was a women's rights advocate, so she also fought for the right to vote in the United States for African Americans and women. She was friends with Frederick Douglass, a fellow abolitionist, and she was an abolitionist speaker, speaking often for African American rights and for their emancipation from slavery. Who is William Lloyd Garrison? William Lloyd Garrison was an abolitionist. He wrote an anti-slavery newspaper called The Liberator. To liberate means to free. He used The Liberator to highlight political issues such as slavery. He faced death threats for having his abolitionist beliefs. And he had the expectation that slaves should be immediately emancipated. Who was Harriet Beecher Stowe? This is a picture of Harriet Beecher Stowe. This is a picture from her book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Harriet Beecher Stowe was a philanthropist. She gave often to the cause of freeing slaves. She was the author of Uncle Tom's Cabin. She was a teacher. She witnessed slavery firsthand and was horrified. She was an abolitionist. She is what Abraham Lincoln considered the little lady that started the big war, such as the Civil War. And she was an activist, speaking up and speaking out for what she thought was right. Who was Harriet Tubman? Harriet Tubman was an escaped slave an abolitionist, a rescuer, a spy in the Civil War. She was a leader, and she was an advocate for civil rights. She wanted African Americans to be treated fairly and equally under the Constitution of the United States. What was the Underground Railroad? The Underground Railroad was a system of guiding slaves from the South into free states or Canada. The Underground Railroad was not a real railroad. It was a network of homes and farms that provided food, clothing, and shelter for escaping slaves. A station was a hiding place for slaves. A conductor was a person who guided slaves to freedom. Harriet Tubman used the Underground Railroad to guide over 300 slaves to freedom. Abolitionists helped the rescue of thousands of slaves through the Underground Railroad. Hmm, who was Frederick Douglass? Frederick Douglass was an abolitionist. He was an escaped slave from Maryland. He was an author, a writer. He actually published an autobiography, a story about his life as a slave. He was a publisher. He actually owned a newspaper called the North Star. He was a speaker for the anti-slavery cause. He was a fugitive or a runaway, and he was an advocate for civil rights, especially during... the Civil War, where African Americans were not given equal rights even while they fought to free slaves from the South. Who is Sojourner Truth? Sojourner Truth was a former slave. She could actually speak Dutch. She was an abolitionist speaker, she was a women's rights advocate, and she was known for her speech, Ain't I a Woman? And she was also a preacher. Who was John Brown? John Brown was an abolitionist. He was an advocate of an armed insurrection arming slaves to overthrow the institution of slavery. He wanted to give guns to slaves so they would rebel against their masters. John Brown led a raid on the Federal Armory at Harper's Ferry to initiate a liberation movement amongst slaves. Because of this, he was tried for treason and hanged. Which states were considered free states? 
The free states in the United States during the course of the abolitionist movement consisted of Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Which states were considered slave states? Slave states included Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, and Florida. Where would slaves hide? Hiding places for slaves included barns, tunnels, caves, wells, haystacks, vegetable carts, and Quaker homes. How did the abolitionist movement change the United States? The abolitionist movement in the United States played on the conscience of many Americans who knew that the institution of slavery was wrong. It wouldn't be before long before Abraham Lincoln, the president of the United States, would emancipate slaves, and the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution actually eradicated slavery once and for all in the United States. States. Check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. Check us out on YouTube at Bowtie Guy and Wife. Check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Check out our Facebook page. Check out our Pinterest page for many ideas to utilize in your classroom or at home. Thank you so much for watching.